in this video you will learn to operate spss at the basic level i assume that you already have spss software installed in your computer so to find the installed software you can type s p s s here in the search box and you will get this program or if the program pinned to the taskbar you can get from the taskbar as well so now i have pinned it we can open from the taskbar spss is open now so you will have uh, some options at the beginning so what would you like to do means open an existing data source or open another type of file so to start with very basics you have to start selecting type in data but if you also are not sure then you may consult the tutorial running this and how do you have already advanced learning capability then you can use run an existing query and another create new query using database wizard so but as this is the basic tutorial we will start from typing data and click ok once you click ok we get the spreadsheet view of the spss where you can get all the menus uh, as in all other softwares you get file option edit options view data transform analyze direct marketing graph utilities add-ons windows help in help you get tutorial as well when you are in this spreadsheet we have a two major things to work with at the beginning that is to be familiar with data view and variable view you can see this is a variable view and when you click here you can see the data we don't have any variable we don't have data so to start with go to the variable view and define variables for example you may have a variable a g e h you write and another would be for example sex the same way another variable may be the drinks choices coffee tea and milk suppose these all are in a single option what type of drink do you prefer then the participants may choose one two or all of them so it is a kind of multiple response after assigning the variable names we have to care for type of the variable these other attributes of the variable so the type is numeric age is numeric that is fine and the sex is not numeric it is a string then the same way uh, the string will have no decimal values as well so all we can string so this way once you define the type then go to the width width is the the length of this special data for example there is a is then how many characters are there maybe maximum three digits we use then you can simply write three six M male M A L E F E M A L E. So the six is the maximum. The same way coffee, yes, no. So you may type only three. The same way this also three. So this is the width of this variable. The level is about uh, explaining this. It may not be required, but uh, in, in some cases, if you have used abbreviated name for the variable, you can use a c e h of c band. So, in this way, you can clarify what does this refer to, so to make it more or more clear. The same way, this is a default value that we assign here. So for example, in the sex, we may have this value for one for male, male and two for 
female and three for other other sex then okay so these are default value we defined the same way here we can define zero for no and one for s okay in this way you can work clearly and now you can copy this the same thing and then paste in all three because they are of same kind now missing value if you work with the missing value you have to define it so normally to start with this basics we won't go for missing value treatment and column means the width of width of the variable in data view for example you see here is a sex and this much length and all these are same length because this all values are added now you come back and see if you make it for example 15 then uh, this age then you can see its effect here see the width of this column for age is bigger than other so this is for the visibility of your all variables in column if there are many variables at that time you have to make exact width so that would make sense okay now alignment what alignment you want numeric alignments are normally right and others are left it means the data when it appears in the data view left uh, center or right now the last thing is to define the measures normally is is considered as a scale and then sex is nominal that's fine it's a categorical and the rest is ordinal well now we will uh, go to the data view and enter data like ages 10 12 15 18 20 Let's make at least 20 records so now go to the sex and insert we have here a value but uh, we can simply type uh, one for male two for female and three for another so one two three one 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 two 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 three two two let's see two 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 three one 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 yes so this will be changed into male and female i will tell you later on and here is zero and one so one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one one okay the same way so we have completed filling of the information for our basic learning purpose so now first very basic initial stage you can see the values you can click this button now see all the numeric changed into text now again you can check like this now see so to make easy of entering data you can define the default values associated with the actual records and make easy working with entering data now you go to the initial analysis for example you go to the descriptive and the frequencies now to make the frequency table for example of the sex then you can see as of the participants this 
two variables and say OK then you get the frequency table male female and other so this is what the frequency and the same way the age of the participants so all one one and only this 28 is two so this this frequency in the same way you may check other descriptive analysis frequencies coffee and tea and milk as well then you can check other like see coffee this is a frequency as and no the same way milk and then frequency so these are individuals but if you want to group this milk tea and coffee we have to deal with uh, multiple response set of variables and another kind of analysis basic analysis would be like for descriptive analysis so you can reset this and then now start with the statistics for example age of the participant you select and you go for all mean median mode sum standard deviation variance range so this all you can mm, you know calculate a minimum and maximum this all let's select this all statistics basic statistics and continue and say okay then now you will get everything out of that age so total 20 mean is this median is this mode is this standard deviation is this variance is this range is this minimum age is this maximum is this and sum of all ages is this. now to save the file as in other softwares click on the save button and give appropriate name of the file and place in proper location for example desktop now you can see in the desktop you have sav the data file and spv the output file this is how you can complete a very basic analysis and basic understanding of using SPSS statistics thank you for watching and keep watching other videos for further learning in the next video we will show how to cluster data into groups means age in the groups if you like the video please share the video and subscribe our channel